In this video, I'll show you how to withdraw assets from your Coinbase wallet back into an exchange so that you can swap them for fiat currency and then send that back into your bank account, essentially cashing out of your crypto back into your bank. We'll go through how to withdraw assets from your Coinbase wallet and then the options for actually trading that back into your fiat currency. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. Before we get started, some things to be aware of. The first one is you can't sell out your crypto assets within Coinbase wallet to your bank account. It doesn't work like that. There are no link ups between the wallet and a bank. You need a centralized entity to do that. So we need to take our assets and withdraw them to an exchange. So we're going to send them out of the wallet to somewhere else. The second thing is you're going to need to pay gas when you send assets out of your Coinbase wallet because you're using the blockchain. So if you have a layer one coin like Ethereum or BNB Smart Chain on those networks, that's fine. You can pay a little bit of gas and send your assets out. If you have a secondary asset like a stable coin, then you're going to need to pay for gas on the chain that it's on. So if you have US dollar Tether or USDC in here, let's say it's on the Ethereum network, you're going to have to have some Ethereum in your wallet to pay for gas to send it out. So you can press receive right here and then receive assets into your wallet um, to pay for gas if you want to send assets out. You already have a Coinbase wallet, so I'm assuming you know how to do that. If you don't, I have a full tutorial guide for Coinbase wallet that goes through absolutely everything. We're going to focus on sending assets out of our wallet in this case, though. Firstly, I'll show you how to get some assets from your Coinbase wallet into Coinbase Exchange because they are actually easily linked. And then I'll show you the method of sending out to other exchanges if you don't have Coinbase Exchange. The first thing we can do is actually link our Coinbase wallet to our Coinbase app. So if you use Coinbase as an exchange, you can link them up very easily. Come to settings in the bottom right hand corner, then go down to connect to Coinbase. You need your uh, Coinbase application set up and downloaded on your phone. But if it is, you can just press this down at the bottom, buy or transfer with Coinbase. You can see it opens my Coinbase application and then it's just going to go through here. Do you want to connect them? As you can see, essentially what happens is it links up your wallet address and your Coinbase exchange. So I can authorize this right here. And then what it does is lets me very easily send and receive assets to my Coinbase centralized exchange and my Coinbase wallet. If you need to know how to sign up and use the Coinbase centralized exchange, I've got tutorials. I'll leave them down in the description. Just sign up for an account and trade there. But what we can do now is actually withdraw our assets to our Coinbase exchange first if we've linked them. So we'll click on Ethereum here and then we'll just press send. And then you can choose an amount that you want to send. You can either send a dollar amount. So I'll choose $10 here or you can swap it for a specific amount of ETH that you want to send. I'll just uh, stick to $10. So I'm going to press next. Now from here, what it should do is see my Coinbase account wallet. This is the ETH wallet that I have. Now Coinbase wallet knows that the Ethereum that I have is on the Ethereum blockchain. And so it's going to obviously send that over the Ethereum chain and Coinbase itself, the centralized exchange, can allow deposits of ETH via the Ethereum network. And it's seen my wallet address on my centralized exchange here. So it actually links my uh, email address that I've linked with the Coinbase exchange. So I'm going to press that. And this is the address that it's going to send it to. Now what it says, it just checks the withdrawal. So here's the amount of ETH that you want to send. Here's the address. And what you can see is that there's a network fee in here around, you know, 40 cents. Right. So every time you use Coinbase wallet, you need to pay a gas fee on the uh, you know blockchain that you're using. So what this is going to do is send Ethereum from my Coinbase wallet into my centralized Coinbase exchange uh, through linking them up together. You can press confirm, pay the amount for the network fee and then the dollar amount or the amount of Ethereum will be sent over to your centralized Coinbase exchange. If you don't have a Coinbase exchange account, maybe you're using another exchange like Binance or Bybit because they have cheaper fees, then this is how to send assets out from your Coinbase wallet into one of those exchanges. So we're going to press send again and we're going to choose the asset that we want to send. So here's Ethereum. You can choose BNB or any of the assets that you have. Obviously, you need that gas token to send any of your assets, but we are going to choose a dollar amount that we want to send. For example, ten dollars. We're going to press next. Now what we need is an address. So you can see that we need an address here to send it to. So what I'm going to do is go over to my Coinbase exchange and then we need to receive assets from our Coinbase wallet. So I'm going to press receive and that's going to tell me which asset do you want to receive. So I'm going to click on Bitcoin drop down and we're going to choose Ethereum. So we'll click that and then it's going to give me my Ethereum address. So I'm going to copy that address and then I can go back into Coinbase wallet 
and then just paste that in right here like this and it says this is the wallet that you can send so it's actually the second one down you can just check the wallet addresses what i'm also going to do is go over to my bybit account right here and again it's the same thing so i'm going to press deposit because i need to deposit from coinbase wallet deposit crypto and then i'm going to search for the crypto that i want to deposit so that this is eth so i'm going to click that and this is my wallet address now Coinbase Wallet supports assets on different chains, so you must make sure that the chain that you're sending and receiving on is exactly the same. For me sending ETH, it's ETH on the Ethereum network, so you can just check that here. ERC20 is the Ethereum mainnet, so I'm going to click that, make sure that we have the same network. I'm going to deposit or copy the address right here, and I go back to my Coinbase Wallet, and I'm just going to paste in the address here. Paste. And you can check the wallet details, but the wallet here is actually my Bybit address now. So I can click that. So that's that one. And then it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to check the address. You want to double check the address. You're going to pay a network fee that is sending an asset out from your Coinbase wallet to any other exchange. You just make sure that the networks are the same. If the exchange that you want to use to cash out doesn't accept the coin that you own, you're going to have to swap it for an accepted coin first before sending it out of your wallet. You can do that within Coinbase Wallet. So let's say I have a meme coin or just a smaller type of coin that just isn't accepted on any exchanges. I'm going to have to swap it first. Up at the top, you can press swap. And as long as the asset is accepted on certain chains, you can swap it. So as an example here, I've got Ethereum on the Ethereum network, I have BNB on the Binance Smart Chain. Maybe I have some other smaller coin on Polygon. They are accepted here. So choose the asset that you want to trade. I'm going to... Uh, choose an asset that I want to send it to. So I've got Ethereum. I can swap it into Tether, for example. So I'm swapping ETH into Tether. Maybe you have a smaller coin. You're going to have to swap it into Ethereum or one of the layer one coins or, you know, a stable coin. All of those are accepted at all exchanges. So you can choose the amount that you want to trade. I'll trade $5 here. I can find the best price. So I'm just going to click on that and see the options that it's going to give me. And if this is an exchange that I want to do, I can just press swap. Now, what you can see here is that you're using a decentralized exchange. So as long as the asset is supported in swap, you can do that right here and swap it into an asset that is more accepted, a larger asset like a layer one coin or a stable coin. What you can also do is connect your wallet to a decentralized exchange like Uniswap, which is going to support all of the assets that you might want to have. That's for a different video. I'll link how to use Uniswap and decentralized exchanges uh, videos down in the description. Once you've sent those assets out from your Coinbase wallet to your exchange, we can now swap them on the exchange to a fiat currency that we want to withdraw. So I'll show you on Coinbase here. Um, I have some Ethereum in my account, as you can see. So I'm going to press that and then you can just sell it. So I'm going to press sell. And it's going to ask me, where do you want to sell it to? It's selling it into my GBP wallet. So if you're in the States, it'll be dollars or euros, wherever you live. And you can link up a payment method, either a card or a bank account or potentially PayPal. If you're using Coinbase, you can sell the cryptocurrency into the fiat currency. So you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to sell five pounds worth into my GBP wallet. Your fiat currency may be different. Once that's done, you should have an amount of the fiat currency in your account right here. And then you can just click the fiat currency, press withdraw, and then go through that withdrawal method. Like I said, I'll leave uh, tutorials for Coinbase and the other exchanges I use down in the description on how to get set up with accounts and do your KYC and link all of your fiat currencies. Um, I'll also leave links to Bybit, BitGet, who have pretty good fiat currency on and off ramps that are way cheaper than Coinbase as well, if you want to check those out. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.